So here we are at Telegraph Station in Hamlin Pool in Shark Bay in Western Australia. And the reason that we've come all this way around the world to this beautiful place is to look at a structure called a stromatolite. A stromatolite is a mound, you might be able to see some behind me, that was made by bacteria. And it was made by a type of bacteria that get energy from the sun just like plants do. And these bacteria are called cyanobacteria. You might have heard of the color cyan. Cyan is a blue-green color, and these algae, when you look at them under a microscope, have a blue-green color as well. So, hence, they're called cyanobacteria. And these cyanobacteria get energy from the sun, so they need to live in a place where the sunlight can reach. And as you can see here, the sunlight easily reaches the bottom of this relatively shallow area. And these mounds are not consist of entirely of bacteria. So there is bacteria just at the surface of these stromatolites. And what happens is the bacteria are sticky. They form a mat. They all live together in a big colony, and they, they uh, excrete sticky molecules. And these sticky molecules trap sediment that falls down through the water column, like sand or even little bits of shell, anything that falls down through the water column. And those little bits of sediment, as we call them, stick to the mat. And then the bacteria don't like that because they, then they can't get sunlight anymore because the sediment is blocking their way. And so they grow up through the sediment and form a new sticky layer. And then that happens again and again and again until we get these large structures that um, only have living bacteria at the very top but are quite big. And they can form all different shapes and sizes. They can have different surfaces. Some are smooth, some are lumpy. Some form columns, some form uh, wide shelves, and um, that diversity is controlled by their environment as well as the types of organisms that are living in the stromatolite um, and any other um, factors that may influence um, their, their structure, the terrain that they're living on, things like that.